Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Super Demo World The Legend Continues, and we're heading on to Water Star World before we go into Crystal Cavern. So we heard about a level like this. Swim straight up at the start of the level for a star and a silver pow. That sounds nice, but what's our other message? That's not our other message. Don't use the silver pow near the pipe. Just swim under. Use the silver pow to get the key hidden up among the jellyfish later. Okay, so we've got some tips here. And, you know, Yoshi might be a bit of a problem in this level, honestly. But yeah, so first of all... We want to get through this level normally, because once we get the secret exit, we can't go back for the normal exit. Oh my gosh. It scrolls so fast! But you can just barely move faster than the scroll speed. This is a coin, but it could be a star if we had one. Okay, good, that worked. Yeah, we know where to get a star because of that message. But for now, let's just try to make our way through the level. Well, I can grab one dragon coin on this run. So yeah, let's get into this pipe. So there's our normal exit. Thankfully, I can note down how many mess how many message blocks there were while the ending thing is going, because I have my cursor off of, like, it's not tied to the emulator window now. But anyways, so let's go back in and do the secret exit. And I guess we'll grab this fire flower. So there's our star and our P-switch, which... We could use to get rid of all these Gelectro. But we could also, you know, not use it for that. Let's get another star quick. I get the feeling we just missed a dragon coin. So let's try to get it here. There we go. That was some good timing. The star dropped down right to us. So in here should be another star, I think. Oh, we totally missed it. Oh, it wasn't another star, it was just another box here that I couldn't hit. I'm getting distracted by things outside of the game right now. Here's where I was looking for. Give me that star! Okay, good. So we've got another dragon coin. Was I supposed to go up at some point there? No, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. So 
So here's another dragon coin. And we're told to go under this, not use it to go further. Just go under. And I screwed that up. Okay, so now we can continue on. Which way does it want us to go, up or down? Because there's still a dragon coin to get, and potentially more stars. Well, it's looking like we could go either way. So I guess let's go the lower route right now. Hello. I wasn't ready for that. There we go, we got our key. And then I screwed it up by save stating in the wrong place, but I recovered it now. There's our last dragon coin, another star. These guys are no threat to us. Take that Rip Van Fish. Your whistling chuck will not help you. And, you know, this pipe would just take us back out to the main exit, so let's use our little keyhole here. Man, I had to hold that Y button down for a while. That was like the whole stage twice over. Anyways, now let's go on to Crystal Cavern. So, Crystal Cavern 1 does have a secret exit. Let's explore on our own first. You know, we... That fire flower just kind of disappeared, didn't it? But yeah, let's explore on our own a bit first. We'll get the message blocks later. Just because, like I said before, I don't really want to use message blocks. Um, you know, prior to, like, there could be a message block in the level. And I don't want to read messages before I'm supposed to read them, you know? But I feel like this path might have something to do with our secret exit. Yeah, so this is a key. And you think, oh, so I continue down here? Well, now we're into the main level. But if you go back the way you came, we've seen this in a previous level, the pipe goes somewhere else. And it goes to the keyhole. And then if you go back in, you end up at this other place. And then if you go back in, you end up at this other place. And these are all places we'll see later on. Here, and you just end up back here. So yeah, let's actually use the keyhole. <laughs> So yeah, lots of pipes are connected to a lot of different places here. So now that we got the secret exit, let's actually just do this normally. And by normally, I don't mean do that. Ooh, 
Oof. Okay, don't do that either. Just, just platform normally. Don't be fancy. You're going for the normal exit. Play normally. Is there a secret back there? There is a swooper back there, or a swoop as they're now known as. You can climb on these for some reason. Interesting. Get rid of some of those enemies to get rid of some of that lag. Anyways, some of these pipes should be seeming familiar to you. Oh, if we can climb on that stuff, then we can totally get out here for probably no reason. Yeah, this just exists so that there's open space out here. Which is kind of neat atmospherically, but like level design wise, it's kind of confusing. So down there's where our keyhole was. There's another dragon coin. Now we got all of the dragon coins. And up there is where the key was. But it's one way, so we can't go up there and check it out. And that's Crystal Cavern 1. Oh, we have a bonus while I'm trying to write stuff down. Okay. Oh, I messed it up. Well, I got three lives there. Not that our lives really matter, you know, we have... Like, we're not really losing any while we're using save states. So let's head on to Crystal Secret. So what is the item for this house? Ooh, you know what that is. I bet you don't unless you've played this before. It's a springboard. That's not what I thought it was, but it is helpful. So, anyways, um, I guess I can write that one down, too. I'm, we're gonna have to come back here for some messages. But anyways, on to the vacant ghost house. Which has two exits, of course, because it is a ghost house. This one has a message. I'm sorry, but we're not at home right now. If you leave me if you leave a message at the beep, we'll be sure to scare up a reply for you in some future life. Yeah, so vacant ghost house. The key was hidden in the background there, outside the window. I meant to show it first, but I flew straight into it. So yeah, that's the secret exit. But you can see there's another message block up there. See, there's the key in the window. All boos are to regroup at the new secret hideout. I've asked Bowser to seal it up, so Mario won't be able to find it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So yeah, the boos are up to no good. 
and we don't have to come back to this level because we got both the message blocks. Anyways, we don't want to replace our springboard just yet. Let's just travel through this vacant ghost house that has no booze. It's vacant. All the booze have left to regroup somewhere else. Of course, now we get onto this little maze area. Or I'm not really sure which doors we should go into. There's a dragon coin here. So let's try the first door. I'm not exactly sure how this maze works. Because everything looks the same. So we try the first door twice. I have no idea if this led me anywhere good. So let's undo that. Let's try the second door. Because I would like to find the dragon coins if I can. But if that won't do, then that just won't do. I think these doors might just, like, maybe the first door always leads to the same place and then the second door always leads to the same place. So now I could check out what the third area looks like. Which I think is where we want to be. Because, yeah, there's a door at the start now. Let's check out the fourth door. I'm not seeing anything else hidden here. So let's see if our theory is right. If I go back into the third door, will there be a door on the left? Yes, okay. Yeah, I have no clue where those other dragon coins are, but... Um, we've at least done this. That's Vacant Ghost House. Both paths done. So now, on to Crystal Cavern 2. Which, you know, you'd think cave levels would have a lot of secret exits. There's not another secret exit in this world until the castle. So yeah, Crystal Cavern 2. It's green. And there are Mega Moles. I feel like having Yoshi here probably not a good thing. I mean, it would be a good thing, but it would probably make me break the level. Like, it'd be helpful, but we definitely won't be beating the levels as intended if we bring Yoshi. Because we could probably just eat the moles. But I guess we could also just spin the moles, so it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, so we're supposed to lure them into there and then move over. Having, like, any sort of power-up kind of breaks this. 
I guess a mushroom or a fire flower wouldn't break it, but a lot of power-ups break it. I kind of want to check out what's above us, if I can do that. The Koopa up there just makes me so curious. I know I should be able to get the camera to scroll up. If I fly... Okay, there's nothing up there. Now I know. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so I saw the suspicious blocks. Here we go, and we get a silver P, or a silver pow. Yeah, silver P switch. So that turns our plants, our little muncher buddies, into buddy, coin buddies. I'm making sense, right? And that's Crystal Cavern 2. on to Crystal Cavern 3. We're gonna have to go back to that level for two messages, which are probably both blank. So really, no messages, but whatever. So yeah, no Yoshis in this level, because he can't go through that pipe. And now we're on a mole riding level. Good old mole train. Just like in, what, did, did Donkey Kong Land and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze both have a mole train or something? Hit that switch right before he gets to that block. Ooh, get down there. And we did it in time. Did Super Mario RPG have some sort of mole train thing? I know they had the mines. And like the little roller coaster mini game there. There's all our dragon coins, and we transition into the next area while still riding our mole buddy. And I didn't hit the tape. Oh well. Not that we really need it. So again, gotta go back here for two more messages. But for now, we move on to Crystal Cavern 4. I like how they make these levels stand out from each other with, like, the different colored stones. And, like, the colors mean stuff, like, you know, I mean, this is with the red gems in the wall, so it's, like, the lava one. It really helps make all these levels stand out from each other. Okay, we can go into that pipe. Should I be going this way? I can. And it gets me a bunch of lives. And a power-up I don't want to get, because that would get rid of my spring. 
Where am I? And what have I skipped over? I don't want to skip over anything. I'll just save up there. And is this the pipe I went down? Yes, it is. So let's load back up here. This is death, right? Yes, it is. That's another good thing about save states, is that you can test things out like that. Just to make sure that there's nothing there, without any sort of risk to it. Okay, for a second, I was thinking that something was wrong, but there was thankfully a block there, and we are done. Already moving on to Crystal Cavern 5. We're just blazing through this world. And now we've got, you know, the blue stones, because it's the water level. Of course, this isn't a full water level, so don't try to swim under the level, because you'll die. Because the water does not extend to infinity, like, beyond the screen. Like it does in actual full water levels, but we can swim in the waterfalls though. So that's cool. There seems to be something above us. Right this. Okay, so I'm gonna get these out of my way now. That seems like a good idea. Let's just get all of these out of my way. So up here, I'm pretty sure I want to make a bridge. Although it, it honestly might be better not to make the full bridge. So let's avoid making the full bridge. I'm sure even if we did make the full bridge, we would have plenty of time, thanks to the preparations I have made. But now we'll for sure have enough time, no matter what shenanigans are thrown our way. There's another dragon coin there. I mean, it looks like we're headed towards a secret exit, but we're not. I assume this is just to get all the dragon coins. Because the path to the right should just go to the end. Maybe we need a P-switch or something. I mean, we're going for a P-switch up here, but maybe we need, like, a silver one or something. That's probably what's going on here. Anyways, since I've, 
you know, cleverly taken this with me here. I now don't have to worry about my, the amount of time it takes to get through there. And here's our silver pea. It's exactly what I thought. Is that where we got the other switch? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. So let's just take this silver P to the end. And we should be good. There's our last dragon coin. I'm gonna go up this waterfall, cause that's easier. Swimming controls, in case you don't know, they're completely different when you're holding an item. And there's the munchers we couldn't get past without the silver pea. Did you know that you can take a pea switch with you? If you grab the base after you hit it and take it through a pipe with you before it disappears. So now we still have a P-switch, and silver P-switches turn into blue P-switches when you take them through a pipe. So if, if I were to hit this now, it would act like a blue P-switch. But I'm gonna... Nope, don't want to turn it into an item, actually. Because then that'd get rid of my spring. Anyways... I'm a winner! Hooray! All eight lives. I'm glad I got a complete win on this minigame at some point in this playthrough. It's not super hard to do, but it's hard enough. Anyways, um, we didn't get any messages in that level. I'll just note that down quick. And now we're on to number four, Crystal Castle. Now, does this level look familiar? Well, that one-up mushroom is gone. Yeah, this was the castle level from the original Super Demo World. And now I'm starting to realize that it didn't matter what was in my inventory. And you should understand why too, if you remember this level from the original Super Demo World. Ah, oh, grabbing that spring slowed me down! I'm just gonna take damage now, so that I can slip through here more easily. So yeah, as you can see, when we hit the on-off switch, it switches the direction that the spikes are- that the spike ceiling is going, but it always comes down when it hits the top. So yeah, we can get a mushroom here. Now we use this as an elevator. But the thing is, in order to beat this level, first we want to quick get here with enough time. But in order to beat this level, you kind of need to die. If we would have kept going forward there, we would have ended up right at a long pit of lava, which we could have flown across with a cape. But... 
I mean, like, it's really hard to fly across with all the lava bubbles coming up. So, yeah, you pretty much just want to get the checkpoint there and die. So, for now, let's just go for the normal exit. But yeah, I did tell you we would be dying at some point in this playthrough. And what happens if we keep going here? There's a pea switch and a mushroom. And we can't really jump to that. It's telling us to go up. But yeah, if we try to jump this, it's just not gonna work, so... Let's head back. Let's not lose our power-ups if we can help it. These skewers are, like, practically insta-kill, too, because they crush you. So yeah, we can get on top, but those skewers do extend through the ceiling, so you have to be careful about that. And you jump over that one, and now... The key is over there, but we're not going for that now. We are fighting Ludwig. Yeah, I jumped on him while he was falling, and he's dead. Jumping on him while he's falling lets you get an extra hit in. The voracious Ludwig von Koopa's egg evolution experiments in Castle Number 4 have come to an end. Choking on crystal dust, Mario climbs towards an escape pipe looking for clean air and more eggs. So we could move on to World 5 now. But of course, where am I going? For now, we want to head back in here and get that secret exit. And this 1-Up Mushroom, and now you know why there's a 1-Up Mushroom here. It's because you have to die here. So yeah, let's just make our way back through. I'll try to show you the other end of that lava pit, but we're not gonna fly over it. Obviously, we don't even have a feather. But I'm probably gonna wanna get one. Like, after we die, I'm probably gonna wanna go get a feather. Yeah, so here I'll show you real quick what's over here. There's the pit of lava, and it's super long. But let's actually do this right now. It was harder to get to this point in the Super Demo World 1 version of this level. Like, there were more obstacles in the way, and it was nearly impossible to get to the checkpoint. 
But anyways, now that we have that checkpoint, let's just fast forward through the map a bit. And get some feathers. And here we are. I don't know if we need the feathers, but they'll definitely help. You know what? I, I First of all, I didn't need to go that far because we've got a secret house here, but also... We kind of want our sprain. Probably. So, let's take that with us. Now let's head back here. I guess I could show you what's over here. Like how long this pathway is. But that'll be hard. Okay, maybe it's not as long as I thought it was, but there, I've shown it to you now. But yeah, it's difficult to get across. So yeah, let's start out by trying to get both the P-switch and our key. We want the P-switch to get over to where the key is. Although we might not necessarily need it if we can fly. gonna back this up a bit. Back to before I used that P-switch block. So now here, I mean we could glide under but I think this is where we're supposed to, I didn't mean to double grab, oh no. But yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to use our spring. And then we want to go across the top here. Just beware of, like, running into the skewers that are going up right now. Yeah, because they are troublesome. Nope, went forward too early. And there we are, the keyhole in the top left corner, even though it looks like it's in the bottom left, just because it was off screen when we got it. But yeah, there we go. That is that level done. Now this video's been pretty long already, but... You know, I'd like to end with getting secret messages rather than begin with getting secret messages, so... Let's get our good old message block. And we can check out some secret messages. Now, I'm pretty sure most of these are gonna be blank. But I don't know if all of them will be. So that's blank. 
blank. Blank, I think Crystal Cavern 1's is all blank. Okay. How about Crystal Secret? While the GBA is a different platform entirely, some have wondered if perhaps Nintendo used the same format in it as the original game. And that leads into our second message here. If we can find it. Super Mario Advance 2 Lunar Magic Support, Fact or Fiction. In this episode, we explore the possibility of a hidden mode in Lunar Magic for Super Mario Advance 2 support. So yeah, basically just toying with the idea that we could hack Super Mario Advance 2, the Game Boy Advance version of Super Mario World. Anyways, we know all the messages from Vacant Ghost House, so... Let's try Crystal Cavern 2. That's blank. That's blank. Alright, I'm thinking this level doesn't have any messages. Okay. Crystal Cavern 3, do you have any messages for us? That is blank. Blank. I wish there was an easier way to check than trying to figure out if things are lined up correctly along the x-axis, but it looks like all this stuff is blank. So, yeah, Crystal Cavern 1, 2, and 3, no messages. Crystal Cavern 4, also probably no messages, but we will find out. Once we get to a place where we can actually hit the block. Like right here. Blank. 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 It looks like it's all blank. Okay. Crystal Cavern 5, any messages for us? Blank. That's blank. Yeah, I'm thinking this is all gonna be blank again. All right, I'll give it one more shot. Blank, okay. So all the numbered Crystal Cavern levels don't have any messages for some reason. How about the castle? Let me hit the block. Ugh. To pass this level, you must get in. You must get the midway point and then kill yourself. You will then restart the level past the pool of lava. All right then. The keyhole is hidden in the upper left portion of the second part of the level. Ride a block to get up above the screen. Or just fly up there. 
And that's it for the messages here. So, in... That's it for this video. In the next video, we will do Crystal Star World and then move on to World 5. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.